How to deal with a cursing person. There are many situations in which we have to deal with people who use colorful language. Finding the right way to deal with the person depends on our relationship with them. With customers, the basic rules of customer service apply. Be calm and respectful, and demonstrate you understand their problem. With a coworker, confront them directly with your feelings. When correcting a foul-mouthed child, you should always use discipline and find ways to minimize their cursing. Dealing with a cursing customer. Stay calm. Do not reply with anger just because the customer is being immature and working through their anger in an unhealthy way. For instance, if you're on the phone with a customer, do not hang up on them as soon as they start cursing. If you react angrily, you might escalate the situation, and both you and the customer could end up even more aggravated than you already are. Pay attention to your volume and tone of voice. Use a gentle, even tone when replying to angry customers. Remain aware of your emotions. If you don't think you can handle a certain call, tell the person that you'll transfer them to a manager or another third party, even if it's just your coworker. I'm going to transfer you to someone who can help you better than I can, you could explain. It is easier to tune out or forgive swearing against a product, company, or service than it is to forgive someone swearing at you personally. In either case, however, stay calm and do not respond in anger. Remember, the irate customer does not know you, and you did not personally cause whatever misfortune they are experiencing. Don't let their foul language rattle you or make you feel personally guilty, angry, or incompetent. Pay attention to your volume and tone of voice. Use a gentle, even tone when replying to angry customers. Remain aware of your emotions. If you don't think you can handle a certain call, tell the person that you'll transfer them to a manager or another third party, even if it's just your coworker. I'm going to transfer you to someone who can help you better than I can. You could explain, it is easier to tune out or forgive swearing against a product, company, or service than it is to forgive someone swearing at you personally. In either case, however, stay calm and do not respond in anger. Remember, the irate customer does not know you, and you did not personally cause whatever misfortune they are experiencing. Don't let their foul language rattle you or make you feel personally guilty, angry, or incompetent. Validate their feelings to calm them down. Sometimes, an angry customer feels unheard or ignored, and so they act out in desperation. You can alleviate this by showing that you care about their situation and are willing to listen. Validating their feelings can calm them down by making them feel understood. Here are some examples of validating things to say. I can tell you're upset. That sounds frustrating to deal with. Yes, that definitely sounds like a problem. What do you need to fix it? I am sorry to hear about that. It sounds difficult to deal with. Tell the customer that using profanity will not solve their problem. Sometimes, when a customer is extremely frustrated, they forget their manners. Remind that customer that while you are sorry, no amount of cursing will solve the problem they're experiencing. I understand you're upset. Cursing at me will not help me fix your problem. I know this is frustrating. I am on your team here, and profanity isnt going to help me help you. I have a hard time focusing when people are yelling at me. If you want my help, please lower your volume, or come back later once you've calmed down. Warn the customer that they will not receive help if they continue to curse. Give a clear, unambiguous warning that specifically mentions their cursing. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you if you curse at me. I am sorry, but you are frightening people, and we cannot help you today. Please lower your voice or leave the building. Hang up the phone on a customer who ignores a warning. If you're dealing with a customer over the phone, hang up on them. This is a last resort that should only be utilized in extreme cases. The foul-mouthed customer is likely to call back even angrier than before. However, if you have a customer who does not relax after repeated attempts to calm them, ending the call is the best option. Sometimes ending a call can give angry people the time they need to calm down. Always be polite as you end your call. Let your customer know you're hanging up. A goodbye like, I'm going to hang up now because I do not want to be cursed at. I hope your day improves, is appropriate. Be succinct. Follow through on your warnings to your customer that you're going to hang up. Get help when dealing with threatening customers. If one of your customers continues to curse and threatens you, inform them you will contact the police. 
leave to do so, explain the situation to the police and, assuming the customer has fled before the police arrive, give them as much information as possible about the customer. Allow the threatening customer to leave and do not antagonize them. Do not shout, threaten, or scream when dealing with a customer who threatens you. This might panic them and escalate the situation. If you believe the customer is armed, do not announce, I'm calling the police. This will only agitate them, flee from an armed customer at the first opportunity. If the exit is blocked, look for safe spaces to hide within your workplace like under or behind a bar counter. Contact the police when you have a chance. Explain the situation to your coworkers. Protocol concerning cursing customers varies with place of employment. You may want to write down everything that happened, to help you remember, or to make an official report. You could also tell your boss about what happened, and ask for advice dealing with similar situations in the future. If you work at a call center, you might make an entry in their account describing the exchange, and how you handled it. At an in-person workplace, you might tell your coworkers about what happened, and give them a heads up in case the customer comes back and curses at them too.